We've all had moments of confusion, but luckily they usually aren't televised for the world to see. This wasn't the case for Laura Ingram during a segment on Fox News when she had a confusing moment on air. We covered the embarrassing moment when she was flummoxed by reference to the TV show You, plus other times TV reporters have embarrassed themselves. Stay tuned, you'll want to hear this. Firstly, what was Laura Ingram so confused about in reference to the TV show You? On the heels of the release of the third season, of You, Fox News broadcaster Laura Ingram made an embarrassing blunder when she failed to understand a reference to the TV show. While on air, speaking to a contributor for The Ingram Angle named Raymond Arroyo, Ingram got visibly upset while trying to understand what Arroyo was talking about. Arroyo made a reference to the show You by stating, I was watching an episode of You when measles came up. Before Arroyo is able to continue his statement, Ingram interjects clearly confused and asks when she's ever mentioned measles. Arroyo responds by saying the measles in the vaccine episode was on you. At which point Ingram still doesn't grasp that he is talking about a TV show and repeatedly insists that they've never done a measles episode and she has no idea what he's talking about. And the back and forth continues. Ingram gets continually more annoyed thinking that Arroyo is making a reference to her and not the show titled You. This all gets more embarrassing when you put in the context of what they were speaking about before this miscommunication happens. Stay tuned to find out the lead up that made Laura Ingram's exchange all the more mortifying, you won't want to miss out. What was the lead up that made Laura Ingram exchange all the more mortifying? Of course, not understanding what someone else is talking about on national television is already humiliating enough, but to make things worth, Laura Ingram was making some critiques before the miscommunication. Before Ingram wasn't able to grasp that contributor Raymond Arroyo was making reference to a show titled You, not Ingram herself, she was criticizing President Joe Biden. She had opened her show by making the statement, America is truly in danger under a president who is physically and mentally deteriorating before our eyes. Real chaos is unfolding. She also slammed the administration by calling them a team of incompetence. After these bold statements about incompetence, it's easy to see why having such a blatant misunderstanding on air would be embarrassing. However, there was much speculation after the incident about whether the whole thing was a part of a bit, with one viewer tweeting, honestly, with the you thing, it feels like a gag. And this person wasn't the only one. There didn't seem to be a consensus on whether Ingram was doing a rehearsal routine for the audience or if she truly didn't understand Arroyo's reference to the show. After social media was abuzz with the opinions, Ingram went on to address the mix-up. Up next, was Laura Ingram doing a bit or was she actually confused by Arroyo's statement? You'll want to hear the debate. Was Laura Ingram doing a bit or was she actually confused by Arroyo's statement? After Laura Ingram was mercilessly mocked on social media for her misunderstanding of the you mentioned, she went on her show to clear things up for her audience. Ingram stated on her follow-up show that the whole confusion was actually a bit her and Arroyo rehearsed beforehand. Arroyo declared that he thought their audience was craving something authentic and real, and they were able to provide them with that. Ingram went on to state, I think there are a lot of liberals out there who don't like conservatives having fun, and then seemed proud to note that it was a thing they practiced for 30 seconds before the show and it got them over 20 million views. The debate is still out on whether they were just covering up an embarrassing situation or they really were in it to get a few laughs. But star of the show, you, Penn Badgley, took to Twitter to weigh in on the matter. The actor tweeted, it's gotta be a bit, and further elaborated, dude is committed, he actually made me LOL. But watch how he waits for her to cut him off. And he wasn't the only one to tweet out his suspicions that it was indeed for entertainment, with Netflix's official Twitter replying, 100% percent a bit. Arroyo later revealed it was totally scripted, but we'll leave it up to you to decide if you agree. Up next, what embarrassing moment led one TV meteorologist to flee the scene? Find out next. What embarrassing moment led one TV meteorologist to flee the scene? Laura Ingram isn't the only TV anchor who's made the news based on an unfortunate on-air gaffe. This was the case for Jennifer Ketchmark during her usual weather segment from Indianapolis when she was spooked by a giant hornet. During her report, the producers put up a live shot from above Indianapolis only for a hornet to land on the camera right as the streaming started. With the image of the hornet looking so imposing on screen, it obviously startled Ketchmark, who then screamed and fled from the camera. It wasn't all bad though, she realized she had prematurely scared, came back into frame once she figured out what was happening. Luckily, she was able to laugh off the incident before getting back to her regular scheduled program. She's not the only TV reporter to be startled by bugs while on air. For Cotton 
Katya Leek, who was even more stressful as the bugs were real in her case. While trying to report from the top of a tank at an army base, she was swarmed by cicadas. She tried to remain calm and collected until one landed on her face, which conjured a freak out. After screaming and flailing her mic, she tried multiple times to continue with her piece and was eventually able to get through it, but not without a bit of embarrassment. Up next, which TV broadcaster had one too many drinks while on air? What TV broadcaster had one too many drinks while on air? New Year's Eve is a holiday known for crazy parties and lots of drinking, but that shouldn't necessarily be the case while you're at work. Nonetheless, this didn't stop Don Lemon while ringing in the new year with co-anchor Brooke Baldwin from having a little too much to drink while hosting. The pair were reporting live from New Orleans where Lemon was taking shots and getting visibly more rowdy as the night continued. At one point, he debated awkwardly with Baldwin whether he should get his ear or his nipple pierced during the show, and finally opted to get his ear pierced on air. Lemon's antics sent Twitter stirring with many tweeting out their support for the CNN journalist. One person couldn't get enough of the entertaining charade tweeting, CNN is crazy. Don Lemon should have a weekly show where he drinks and tries to host three hours of programming. While there were viewers that were obviously amused with Lemon's behavior, his co-host Baldwin did not seem as endeared by him. At one point, she states, this is way too early to start this, and puts down a drink that Lemon has handed her to get her to join in on the antics. Seems like Baldwin would have appreciated him being less drunk, but that didn't slow down the party for Lemon. Yikes. Up next, what TV anchor fell asleep while live on TV? You'll want to hear about this. What TV anchor fell asleep while live on TV? TV news anchors aren't immune to mortifying moments, but there are some things that are expected on the job, one of which includes being awake while on air. This wasn't the case for Tucker Carlson on Fox and News one morning after a late night. While reporters do work long hours and Carlson was up early for the morning show, they usually don't fall asleep while filming. During the show, while there was a commercial break, Carlson fell asleep and his fellow host didn't bother to wake him up, instead letting the audience see him snoozing. Co-host Mike Jurek seemed delighted by Carlson's predicament, jeering, he's really asleep. Allison Camarota chuckled and then found a soft spot for Carlson by pointing out they weren't being good co-hosts. The banter between these co-hosts awoke the anchor who seemed surprised he had fallen asleep and couldn't believe he had been left sleeping past the commercial break. It obviously took him a few moments to realize what had happened before Camarota graciously handed him a cup of coffee and Jarek poked fun, saying, in the 15 years of this program, I don't think that's ever happened. All in all, everyone seemed to get a good chuckle out of it, but that's definitely one of the more mortifying things to happen in front of an audience. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Laura Ingram's mix-up on air and other embarrassing TV reporter moments. Let us know in the comments which mortifying moment is your favorite, and as always, tune in next time for more news. Thanks for watching.